In today's video, I'll show you 5 powerful automations you can create for your smart TV. We'll cover sending notifications directly to your screen, automatically lowering the TV volume at a set time, using your TV as an alarm clock, and more. Let's dive in. In today's video, I'll walk you through setting up powerful automations and home assistant for your smart TV. I'll be demonstrating with an LG TV running webOS, but these automations can work with other TV brands too. We'll create automations that can control your TV directly and others that trigger actions in your smart home based on what's happening on your TV. Just make sure your TV is integrated with Home Assistant. I'll guide you through each of these automations step by step, so you can easily follow along and create your own. We'll start by setting up on-screen notifications for your TV. Then, I'll show you how to automatically pause what you're watching when someone approaches the front door. We'll create ambient lighting for movie nights, adjust the TV volume at specific times, to keep things quiet for your kids or neighbors, and even set up your TV to wake you up with your favorite YouTube videos. Let's dive in. I'll start by showing you how to send notifications to your TV. As an example, I'll set it up to display a notification whenever someone approaches the front door. Start by opening settings in the Home Assistant menu, then select Automations and Scenes. This brings up the automation list. At the bottom right, click on Create Automation. Now, let's add a trigger. Click Add Trigger and select Device. I'll choose my front door motion sensor as the trigger device but you can pick whatever makes sense for your setup, whether it's a motion sensor, an open door sensor, or another smart device. Next, I'll set the specific trigger, in this case, entrance motion started detecting motion. This way, anytime movement is detected at the front door, this automation will kick in. Now, let's set up two actions, one to turn on the front door light and another to send a notification to the TV. To add the first action, click Add Action, scroll down to Find Switch, and select it. I want the light to turn on, so I'll select that option. Now, I need to choose which switch to control. I'll click on the Choose Entity button and select the entity that corresponds to the switch I want to activate. With the first action done, let's create the notification. Click Add Action again, scroll down, and select Notifications. From the Notifications list, find and select the option for your TV. Now, let's enter a message in the message box. I'll type, there's someone at the door. I'll also add a title. To make sure the front door light doesn't stay on indefinitely, let's add a delay. Click Add Building Block, scroll down, and select Wait for Time to Pass. Enter the duration you want the light to stay on, I'll set it for one minute. Then, add another action to turn the light off. Select Switch. Set it to off, and choose the same light as before. Once everything's set up, hit save, name the automation, I'll call mine someone at the door, and save again. And there you have it. This automation will turn the front door light on, send a notification to the TV, and after one minute, the light will turn off. Let's see it in action. As someone approaches the door, the front door light comes on, a notification appears on the TV, and after a minute, the light turns off. This notification feature can be incredibly versatile. I use it for reminders like letting me know it's time to go to bed and stop watching TV, showing the bedroom temperatures before bedtime, alerting me if the refrigerator door has been open too long, and much more. Now, let's move on to the next automation. Building on the last one, we'll set up an automation to pause the TV whenever someone's at the door. I'll be using a motion sensor, but you could use any other smart device, like a smart doorbell to trigger it. Start by clicking Settings, then go to Automations and Scenes, and select Create Automation. Choose Create New Automation. For the trigger, select Device and pick the motion sensor, or any device you prefer. I'll set it to Trigger when it detects motion. Next, add an action, scroll down to the Media Player section, 
and select Pause. Then, choose the entity you want to control. I'll select my living room TV. Once that's done, hit the Save button, give your automation a name, and save it. And that's it. Now, whenever someone approaches the door, I'll receive a notification from the previous automation, and the TV will pause so I can check who's there. This example shows just one of the many ways you can control your TV with other smart devices. In this next automation, we'll create a cozy lighting ambience for TV watching by turning off some lights and turning on others. Start by opening Settings, then go to Automations and Scenes and select Create Automation. Click Create New Automation. For the trigger, choose Device and select your TV. I'll pick my living room TV. In the drop down menu, I'll select Living Room TV turned on as the trigger. I only want this to happen at night, so let's add a condition. Click Add Condition, then choose Time and Location from the Conditions list. Select Sun. Set it to trigger before sunrise and after sunset. Now, let's add actions. Click Add Action, scroll down, and select Switch. Set the action to turn off, then click Choose Entity and pick the switch you want to turn off. I'll choose the ceiling light. Next, we'll add another action to turn on a different light. Click Add Action. Then Switch. And set it to Turn On. Click Choose Entity again and select the light you want to turn on. I'll pick the light behind the TV. Once that's set, hit Save, name the automation, and save it. Here's how it works. When I turn on the TV, the ceiling light will turn off, and the light behind the TV will turn on, creating a perfect viewing atmosphere. You can use this feature to control other smart devices too, like adjusting the room temperature, closing smart window shades, and more. It all depends on your needs and level of smart home integration. Next, I'll create an automation to decrease the TV volume at a specific hour. This is perfect for those times when you want to keep the volume low so it doesn't wake up the kids. This automation is set up in two steps. First, we need to create a script, but don't worry, you won't need to write any code, it's all done through the configuration. Start by clicking Settings, then navigate to Automations and Scenes, and select the Scripts tab at the top. Click the Add Script button in the bottom right corner and choose Create New Script. Now we'll start adding actions to the script. Click the Add Action button, scroll down the list, and select Media Player. Next select the Set Volume action. In the Set Volume configuration block, you'll see a slider where 0 means muted and 1 means 100% volume. I'll set it to 0.1, which means it will set the volume to 10%. Feel free to adjust it to your preference. Next, click the Choose Device button to select the device you want to control. I'll choose my living room TV. To keep whoever is watching informed, I want to send a notification that the volume has been lowered, so they don't think something's wrong with the TV. Click the Add Action button again, and select Notifications. Choose the TV you want to notify. Now, let's enter the message. I'll type, it's late, the volume has to go down, and I'll add a title as well. Once that's done, hit the Save Script button and give it a name. I'll also choose a volume down icon for clarity. Don't forget to save it. By clicking the Rename button. The first step is complete. Now let's create the automation itself. Go back to Settings, click on Automations and Scenes, and select Create Automation. Click on Create New Automation. Add a time and location trigger and select Time. I'll set the time for 10 p.m. Next, we'll add the action that runs the script we just created. Click the Add Action button, select Other Actions at the bottom of the list, and scroll down to choose Script. A list of scripts will appear, select the one you just created. Finally, hit the Save button, give your automation a name, and save it. Let's see it in action. 
when the clock strikes 10 p.m., the volume will automatically be set to 10%, and a notification will appear on the TV screen. Now, for the final automation, I'll show you how to transform your TV into an alarm clock that wakes you up with your favorite YouTube videos. There are two quick settings you'll need to adjust on your TV before we get started. First, go to the Settings menu on your TV. Under the General tab, make sure the Quick Start Plus option is turned on. Next, go to the Connection tab, select your connection, and note down your TV's MAC address, you'll need it later. Now, let's add a configuration to your Home Assistant file. Open the file editor from the left sidebar, click the folder icon at the top, and find the configuration.yaml file in the list. Once it opens, scroll to the end of the file and add the line you see on the screen, I'll include this code in the description. After adding the code, click Save at the top right. This is the only time we'll need to edit the configuration file. Once saved, restart Home Assistant. To do that, go to Settings, click System, then click the Power button in the top right, select Restart Home Assistant, and Confirm. After Home Assistant has restarted, we can start creating our script. Go to Automations and Scenes, then switch to the Scripts tab. Click the Add Script button in the bottom right, and choose Create New Script. To start, click Add Action, scroll down, and select Other Actions. Then scroll almost to the bottom and select Wake on LAN, followed by Send Magic Packet. In the MAC address box, enter the address you wrote down earlier. This action will send a network signal to turn on your TV. To ensure the TV has time to turn on, let's add a delay. Click Add Building Block, select Wait for Time to Pass, and set the delay to 5 seconds, this should be enough time. Next, we'll create an action to open YouTube. Click Add Action, select Media Player, and then select Source. Choose your TV as the device and in the source input box, type YouTube. To give YouTube a moment to load, add another delay by clicking Add Building Block and selecting Wait for Time to Pass. Set it to 5 seconds. Now, when YouTube opens, it typically starts with an ad in the first position, so we'll move to the second video. Click Add Action, scroll down, and select Other Actions, then find your TV integration, for me, that's LG WebOS Smart TV, and choose Button. I'll go back and enter the 5 second delay I missed in the previous step. In the drop down box, select your TV as the entity, and in the button input box, type right. This action simulates pressing the right arrow button on your remote to skip to the next video. Add another short delay to ensure this action completes. Finally, let's play the video. Click Add Action, scroll down, and choose Other Actions again, then select LG WebOS Smart TV and choose Button. Set your TV as the entity, and in the Button Input box, type Enter to simulate pressing the Enter button. Hit Save Script, give it a name, and, for an extra touch, add a YouTube icon. Now that the script is ready, let's create the automation itself. Click Settings. Go to Automations and Scenes, and select Create Automation. Click Create New Automation, add a time and location trigger, and set the time to wake up. I'll choose 6 a.m. Now, click Add Action, scroll to the bottom and select Other Actions, then search for Script and select the script we just created. Click Save. Name your automation, and save it. Let's test it out. When 6 a.m. arrives, the TV will turn on, as if you've pressed the power button. Five seconds later, the YouTube app will open. After another five seconds, the next video will be selected, skipping any ads, and then the video will start playing, all automatically. That wraps up our video on Smart TV Automations and Home Assistant. I hope these automations inspire you to create even more ways to enhance your smart home experience. From managing your lighting to pausing the TV when someone's at the door, and even turning your TV into a personalized alarm clock, these tools can really elevate your setup. Thank you so much for watching.
If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more smart home tips and tutorials. Your support means a lot and helps me continue creating content like this. See you in the next one.